One of the first major milestones in constructing a house is putting down the footings or foundations. They're not called foundations for nothing, they're the basis of a stable building structure. And if you don't get it right, you could end up with settlement, cracking walls and water penetration. The three factors that determine what kind of footing you require is topography, soil conditions and structural requirements. So whether you're building on a flat or sloping site, if you have soil with high clay or sandy content, or you need to add piers to deal with filled land are all things you need to consider, not to mention the size and style of your house. For a two-storey family home like the CSR house, you're going to need a slab system which can accommodate the movement in the ground during prolonged changes in climate. The main reason we're using a slab on ground on this side is because it's a fairly level slab. There's three types. There's a waffle slab or a stiffened draft we could use, and now the cupelex system. Uh, if we were to go to a suspended slab, we'd have to do a lot of work to get up above the ground, and that's quite costly. We have to extra perimeter brickwork, where as you can see on these perimeter slabs, there's no extra brickwork other than the, the work which comes straight off the slab. Concrete has a high volume of thermal mass, which is really useful in regulating the internal temperature of buildings uh, by radiating or absorbing heat as needed. Uh, mass is useful in most climates, and particularly in cool climates or climates where there's a high diurnal range of uh, nighttime or daytime versus daytime temperatures. However, thermal mass only works when positioned appropriately. Uh, you shade it from the hot summer sun and you position it to attract the warmth of the lower range winter sun. Um, so poorly positioned thermal mass can have disastrous results, uh, whereas strategically positioning the thermal mass in the house can really um, aid the thermal comfort of the internal environment. So the CSR house has the slab in direct contact with the ground, which allows us to thermally couple the internal temperature of the house with the ground temperature. The ground temperature is uh, more stable, which gives us a result that we use less energy to heat or cool the house, which is vital in delivering a sustainable home. The uh, concrete slab that we've used in the CSR house is a variation on the traditional waffle pod slab. Uh, traditional waffle pod slabs use polystyrene void formers. Uh, we're using a system called the Cupelex dome system. Cupelex uh, domes are made from recycled plastic and they're forming the domes or the voids underneath the concrete slab by basically forming volumes and pockets of air rather than being a full solid polystyrene block. Polystyrene is uh, quite nasty on the environment and recycled plastic um, PET that goes into the Cupelex domes is obviously a recycled product so we have much less impact on the uh, environment. We can have a lot of flexibility in how we interlink the domes, whereas the waffle pod systems are purely void formers and uh, in accordance with the relevant codes they should only be placed in single units with a concrete uh, beam in between them. With these systems we can do quite large areas, uh, all interlinked with domes which we call dome clusters and uh, we find that's a, that's a benefit in costs and uh, speed of construction and ease of construction as well. The arching effect on the, uh, on the edges of the domes and also inside the middle of the dome there's the cone shape which gives them a lot of strength as well. The benefit of that is that every corner of the uh, Cooperleaks dome bears onto the ground and gives it inherent strength and it's a, like a composite plastic concrete structure which you can't get in other forms of uh, construction for slabs. So with the uh, the Cupelex dome system basically the entire um, Cupelex pods were delivered onto pallets uh, whereas most traditional waffle pods using polystyrene they need one and a half trailer loads uh, effectively of polystyrene so you have less transport requirements less waste on site and uh, less mess when you're uh, forming the uh, when you're doing the preliminary works for the uh, the concrete. 